Let's talk about tubulars. Here we go. We've got a um, we've got some uh, tubular equipment here. We've got a tubular tire. We've got a, a tubular rim, which is not laced up with a hub. And let's just have a look. What what is this tube? What what are these tubulars that people talk about? And how do they work? And why do people run them? I mean, what aren't these things like a pain to use? I mean, who would run these? You know, you got to glue them on and. And what else you gotta do? Like, what do you do if you get a puncture? Okay, let's first look at it. Right, this is this is a tubular tire. I I run these all the time. I, I don't run clinches. I run tubulars on every single bike, every single kilometer I ride. I'm on a tubular. I've done tens and tens and tens of thousands of kilometers on tubulars. I commute on them. I go on group rides on them. I use them all the time. All my rims are tubular rims. And as you can see here, these things are, are sewn up. And, and in some countries they call them sew up. So I do believe uh, in Australia they used to be called sewn ups. I think some other countries do them. But generally tubular is the word that's used internationally to express these. These ones are an Italian brand, but there's all sorts of brands. Conti make them, Continental, Continental Competition, Victoria make them, Tufo make them. A lot of brands make them. And a lot of people use them for crib racing and so forth. So what is it? What's the difference? Okay, you have to have special rims. The tubular rims you buy instead of clincher rims. When I buy my bikes, I, I when I'm at a bike shop, I basically spec them and say, hey look, you know, when I buy the bike, I don't want clinchers, I want tubular rims. And they, they put them on the bike. Sometimes you can actually get really good bargains with tubular rims because they're not as popular. If you get old stock, you can get some really, really good bargains. I've picked up some great stuff secondhand where a lot of triathlon riders have used them just for racing and they've hardly been used. They haven't even done 500 Ks and, and, and you get them for incredible, incredible prices. So as you can see here, if you look at this closely, it hasn't got any, hasn't got any hooks on it. It's just a, just a dish in here, just a dish shape. And you don't have to worry about rim tape or anything like that because the tape is already on the tire, it's already sewn up. It has a base layer. So what, what, there's two ways fixing a tubular tire to your rim. The first way is you can put contact cement. Contact cements are made also by the manufacturers and the specific brands. Some people obviously like with everything else, like some brands over others. There's also double-sided tape, which is actually made by uh, bike dedicated companies that you put on here. Basically, you stick it onto this side, it's got top tape, you pull the top tape off, and uh, you know, and then you put your tire on. There's a little bit of a technique to that. I will make a video in future about how to do that. But uh, for this video, we're just talking about, you know, what, what is a tubular and, you know, how does it work? Okay, the great thing about a tubular is it has a lot more versatility than a clincher or a tubeless tire. And the reason why is because this is a enclosed case, you have no such thing as pinch flats. There's no, there's no hooks on the rim to act as a device when you're running the tire at a lower pressure to, when you hit a pothole to pinch the tube and give you a flat. You can get them, but you have to ride over something, you know, that would really damage the tire. Pre, pre, pretty much, um, you'd have to be like a massive suffer from pin flash in reality. You can run them at very high pressures, a lot higher than clinchers because clincher rims are usually rated 120 psi. Some tubulars are rated up to 180 psi. You can also run them at very low pressures because they don't suffer from pinch flats. You can run them at really low pressures and this is also used in the mountain bike industry and some of the, the pressures that they, they use in the mountain bike industry are very, very low and they even have trouble with tub tubulars staying on the rim so they use tubulars. So you've got a much bigger range of pressure you can run. The other thing as well is, is that these tubulars generally come with latex tubes in them. So they're built in, it's, it's, a, it's a whole controlled system. So if you look at, if you look at this tire here, this, this tire here is 290 grams. It says right here on the label, 290 grams. And you've got to remember that includes the tube as well. So if, if you're comparing that with a clincher, you'd have to compare the clincher tire, the tube and the rim. Tubular, you'd have to compare the, the tire and the rim. And what you'll find is, is the overall weight is a lot less with tubulars. And that's because they don't have to make, use the strength in the rim to make the hooks 
for the tie to fit on. So the rims gives you a saving between two and 500 grams on uh, a, you know, your front and rear. What are some other benefits? Well, what, what I like to do with my tubular is I like to put in some sealant. I use stand sealant, but there's lots of products on the market. I've actually heard there's better products than stands now. Stands used to be the industry leader. Sealant works a lot better with latex tubes than does butyl tubes. Tests have been done to show that. And in these tyres here, it works extremely well. So I run 30 mils of stands in there and it fixes pretty much most punches. Any Anything that's like done from a fawn or a, a sharp object that, that pierces the tyre, that's, that's fine, like a, a double dew or something like that. You pull it out, little spray, spin the tyre, just like a tubeless, fixed. Now, let's have a, let's have a look at um, the cons. Okay, why wouldn't you run these? Now, I suppose the first thing is, is you've got to buy different rims for your bike. Okay, you can't, you can't just put these on because the rim is, has to be specifically designed for tubular. So that might be a, a, a prevention. It might be an initial cost setup. If you wanted to go tubular, you basically have to get your new bike or go and buy some new rims or spec your new bike with those rims so you can start running the tubulars. So that's one, that, that's an initial cost hurdle. I I always put tubular rims on my bikes and I've bought them second hand, so I've already geared up. I, I don't have any clinches or tubes in my house, I only have tubulars. The second thing people say, go, well, what if you get a flat? What, 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 then what do you do, you know? Well, what you actually do is you carry a spare tubular. Now, you might go, well, look, I don't want to carry a whole tire. Look at the size of this thing. Man, where do you stick that, right? Now, there's a specific way to fold these. There's videos on that. And they come down to be quite small. And I'll, I'll put a picture of one later on in the end of the video to show you what that looks like. And they fit very easily into a little bag. I'll put them in a little uh, Kathmandu bag with a, with a little mini pump and also a little... A container that holds some super glue and uh, a valve, a valve core remover. You don't need to have tire levers or anything like that because you don't you don't use tire levers to get tires off of tubular rims. So you, there's pros and cons there. So the weight maybe you may be carrying maybe another 100, 150 grams if you looked at the tubes compared to, and your chill kits for clinches compared to tubular. So you do have a little bit of a weight panel there just carrying in your jersey pockets. But the, but overall, it's lighter because your rims and tire combinations are much lighter. And you actually feel that, especially when you're climbing, the light, the, the weight out of the tires, you actually feel it, rather than uh, some of the aero rims that you see on clinches are almost two kilograms, very, quite heavy, quite heavy. The other, advantage to a tubular is that if you get a puncture and the tire's flat, you go, oh crap, right? Um, I don't want to put a new tire on, or I haven't got one with me. You can actually ride on this tire flat. Um, obviously I wouldn't, you know, advise to do it, you know, for 50 kilometres, but I've done it, I've done it, and my son's done it. You know, I've ridden 5Ks home on a flat tire. You just ride slow. You can ride on. With a clincher, there is no option. You, you can't even ride to the closest bike shop or anything because the tire separates from the rim. Which actually brings me to another point. If you're actually riding downhill and you're actually doing some speed, if you have a blowout, if you're on a clincher, you're gonna be on the rim. So you've got carbon on tarmac or aluminum on tarmac, which basically gives you zero grip. If you have a blowout on a tubular, you still have the tire stuck. So you'll have you'll have the tire flat, but the rubber will still be sitting on the top because it's stuck on, it can't come off. That's another advantage I like about it. The, the, uh, the, the other great advantage with these is that, which has been a big problem in the industry for many years and why they've gone to disc brakes, is the overheating of brake tracks on carbon rims. Now what you have with a clincher if you actually look at your, your clincher rim closely, your carbon clincher rim, the brake track basically is across the connection point where the hook is. So half of the brake track is, is typically above the connection to the rim and half of it's below. So you've got the T-piece where, where the hooks connect on and the brake track. Some manufacturers have moved that point 
to try and get it away from that connection. And the reason why that is, is because carbon, when it gets to about 200 degrees Celsius, starts to go soft. Now, on a clincher rim, once it starts to go soft, you have the pressure of the time behind that. So if you're running 80, 90, 100 PSI, that's trying to push that hook out from the tire. And then you've got the brake track heating up this, this carbon resin material and it starts to go soft. And of course you can have a blowout because it starts to go soft and then the tire blows off, off the hooks and then you have a, a, a failure. With a tubular, yes, the carbon still gets hot and yes, it still goes soft. But because there is no pressure pushing the, the hooks, because there is none, you don't have any problem with the tire blowing off the rim. The other negative is the price. Now, if you've got this on your tire, and on your rim, sorry, and, and you, you, you cut it, and, you, and the sealer doesn't fix it, and you can't, you can't patch it, right, because the, the cut's too big, well, then you have to toss the tire. So it, it might not be end of life, and you have to chuck it away, so you're going to do some money. And the other thing is, is they're slightly dearer than clinches, marginally, because you've got the tube. So when you look at the price of a clincher, um, I mean, this tyre, you could probably, I think you can get them for about two thirds of the price, but you have to buy a tube as well. If you wanted to buy a latex tube, the price wouldn't be that much difference, but they are dearer and, and they do cost you more to run. So that is a, that is a con. But if you're riding expensive bikes and you want fast tyres on your on your bike, I can't see how it is a con because you know bikes are costing thousands of dollars and we're talking about hundreds of dollars with tyres, so it's marginal. So that's it for tubulars. If you want to try them, I recommend them. I would suggest to use the tape first. The gluing, the gluing is a bit of a it takes it's a bit of an art, and I would I would suggest get the feel of putting tubulars on and taking tubulars off before you start gluing. I used to glue them years ago when I was younger and it, it is a bit messy. You can you can uh, end up like Spider-Man. It, it's, it's quite difficult, especially with some of the tyres that have a very tight fit. Um, you can really struggle and I can see how that can put people off. Try the tape first. Then if you want to use the glue, they do rate the glue as having a lower rolling resistance give the glue a go later when you've got used to using the tyre. I also recommend running 30 mils of sealant in them. It really makes them reliable, really reliable system. Okay then guys, well that's tubulars for you. That's why I run them, why I rate them, and why I think that they're still a better product and more reliable than the tubular system. Because a tubeless is basically a clean shell without a tube in it. And it's the sealant that does the magic. And you can put sealant in these. In fact, you can even put sealant in clincher tyres. Run latex tubes, put sealant in. You'd probably be surprised at how reliable they are. Okay then, guys. Well, that's what I've got to talk about today, tubulars. Hope that helps you understand the different tyre types. Have a great day. Catch ya.